Hey guys, welcome to ChiChiPros.com. Today's Wednesday, March 23rd. I apologize, the last week I was sick as hell and did not feel good. Today's the first day I'm actually feeling good and did not wake up with a migraine headache. So I posted a thing on Facebook yesterday of like post your favorite prize pick props. I posted two. They both hit. One was a Tuesday taco, but my head was killing me. I didn't have a lot of time to dig into it. So today, we have some games, and tomorrow kicks off some college hoops, so I wanted to go ahead and look at some plays that I do like. So right off the bat, if you're on price picks this morning and you catch this, I have no idea what this is, but it looks like a pretty good discount. 45% off, um, whatever the fantasy score is for AJV, AJ is uh, 17.5, reduced down to 9.5, so... I'm going to throw that on a morning card. have no idea what it is. I don't watch this, but any type of a discount that I can take to get an extra leg in my card, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. So let's go ahead and take a look at some NBA player props. So taking a look at this, as always, we pull up the NBA cheat sheet, which is good for sports betting player props. And then we have daily fantasy information with all of our projections and whatnot. We have all of our DVP data, and no one noticed this, but I brought in the free throw attempts allowed by the opponent for if you're playing those free throw props. Um, I brought that in a couple of days ago. We have our tiers tab, our bet tab, our player prop tab. But always, if you're looking at them, we're going to go to the last seven tab, and we're looking at the last seven averages versus the current projection, and we're identifying differences. So I'm going to go to the points prop, but you can do this for points rebounds, assist, and then we can even go over here to points, rebounds, and assists. So for the sake of this video, we're going to just take a look at the points. We're going to sort it difference from high to low, and we're going to look at these players up top. Now, Price Picks does not have Grant Bay and Bogdanovich out yet, and some of these other lower minute players usually aren't listed, but the ones in green are the ones that kind of jumped out that I want to take a look at tonight that I want to take a shot on. So the first one we're going to take a look at is going to be Kevin Durant. And we're also going to look at his game log. So Kevin Durant over 27 and a half points looks pretty juicy tonight against Memphis. This should be a high scoring back and forth game. And I believe it is at Brooklyn. So there will be no Kyrie Irving. So we want to go back and look at the game logs of the home games. So we know Kyrie wasn't in there what he's done. When you look at this, you see, okay, you know, 37, 38, that's great. But he had 23, 19 and a 53. So Real quick, we like over 27 and a half points. That's one of the first cards I'm going to do tonight. And then up here on RotoWire, I pulled up the Kevin Durant game logs. And I want to go back here and take a look at his game logs at home. And so here, we're going to look at his points. So he had 37, 38, 23. Dallas is a tough matchup. He went over. He still shot 20 times, but he was only 8 for 20. So tough defense there. So he missed that one. That was on the road. We're going to throw that out. And then at home, he scored 53 against the Knicks. And then these three were on the road. So we'll kick those out. And then his home game before that was March 3rd. He scored 31. So in his last five home games, he has 31, 53, 23, 38, and 37 points. So he's at home again tonight. So we like him to go over 27 and a half points. He's been over that in four of the last five. So that's the first prop that I'm personally going to go with um, because they need to win. Um, they're in trouble. They may get a rough seed or may not even make the playoffs. So that's something that they're going after. And with them playing at home without Kyrie, they need to really be on the ball. Um, going down, there was no Josh Richardson. Christian Woods, another guy that popped up. I'm still kind of torn on him if I want to go over. But what really impressed me, two of these last three games, he has 39 and 32 points. So he has the ability to go big. 17 and a half is a pretty small number, but it is a tough matchup against Dallas. But Houston sucks, and he's one of the top scorers, so why not? Then we're going to slide down here. There's no Terrence Ross, man. So Bruce Brown's going to be the next guy. And I know there are always Brown pop props because he's got this low number of 12 and a half on here. So you can see here, um, he's been over this in four of the last five. He's averaging 16 points a game, and his number's only 12 and a half. So I like pairing him with Durant, because one of them is guaranteed to go over. So if you're going to do a flex card with that many players, that's a good one we like to take a shot on, is Bruce Brown over 12 and a half points. And then going down here, Wendell Carter's not up yet. We have Drummond and LeBron, so let's go ahead and take a look at those two. Those are the ones I did verify that were on. 
Drummond, eight and a half points. So he only plays about 20 minutes a game, but he's been killing this number in four games straight, and he's going up against Memphis. So 17, 14, 10, and 8. So I guess we could put three Brooklyn players on here. We could do Drummond over 8.5 points. We could do Bruce Brown over 12.5 points. And we could do Duran over 27.5 points. And combined, that's still less than 50. And all three of them should be able to hit that. But if you're doing a flex card, I would say two of those three are almost guaranteed to hit. Um, so I like Drummond to go over. One of the other things that comes up on the sheet when you scroll over here is he's got a good DVP spot. So the opponent's giving up 24% of the points to the center position. So that's a really good spot for Drummond. So I like him to squeak over. I mean, hell, we only need nine points. Come on. If he misses it, he misses it. That's fine. But I love those low numbers. He may get that in the first quarter. May have it by halftime. And LBJ is the next one. So when we get over 30 points, I get a little leery about, you know, if I want to do something like that. But Lakers, you know, they're trying to make a run here at the end of the season. He's got 38, 38, and 36 points in the last three games. So he's cruising over this number, and it is a matchup against Philadelphia. I have not looked to see if Harden's playing, but it doesn't really matter. Harden doesn't play any defense either way. So I like LeBron to go over 31.5 points. The number is a little high, but asking for him to get 32 in a game where they're going to need him, I don't think is out of the question. So these are the ones that jumped up on the cheat sheet, and this is how I use the sheet. And you can do the same thing looking at rebounds, looking at assists. A lot of the top rebound and assist players, they were not listed yet on prize picks, so I did not dig into it. Some of the other ones that I like that I noticed on other avenues of research that I do, Jason Tatum over 29 and a half points. It's a tough matchup against Utah. He's been squeaking over this number. He's got 36, 30, and 32. So he's in about 30 in each of the last three games. So that's one I think we could consider. Um, another one that I really like that popped up is Mikel Bridges. Now I'm looking for his fantasy points over, or not fantasy points. It only has his fantasy points over, but I'm looking for his points prop over. It's not up yet, but it should be up here within the next hour. Um, you can see his fantasy points. He's been doing really well. So Against Minnesota, that should be a game where he can take advantage of that and get those points over. So that's one I'm watching for. And I don't think we had any Jalen Green. Okay, so Jalen Green is up now. And so his assist prop is one that jumped out at me. And I had another... Okay, let me pull this up. So courtesy of Props Cash, this is the graph. So Jalen Green over two and a half assists. You can see these are his assists over the last 10 games. 5, 1, 6, 3, 4, 6, 3, 3, 4, and 7. So he's been over this in 9 of 10 games at 2.5. So it makes sense that it's up to 3 or Price Picks released it at 3. So I like him to go over this number. It's a tough matchup against Dallas. So his assists should be a little bit better there. Especially if Christian Wood's doing really well and he's dishing it down low to Wood who basically goes in for a dunk or lays it up. He should be able to get those three assists. So that's one that I do like. Um, and then the other assist one, let me grab it here, is Plum Lee. And oh, wow, he's up now. So they're putting him up. So his assist prop is not up, but he's one that's been consistently over. Um, so that's one to keep an eye on. And then looking at rebounds. So Mason Plumlee rebounds. They didn't have this up earlier, but he's been going way over this number. Dallas is a tough matchup. He only had one. I didn't look into the game logs because it's not one of my favorite plays, but in the other games, he's got 10, 11, or 10, 10, and 11. So he's been over it in three of the last four games going up against the Knicks. So that's one I think you should definitely take a look at. And then I had, going back to the Mikael Bridges, which we didn't have up yet. So here's another graph courtesy of Props Cash. And so his points prop opened at 15 and a half. I'm waiting to see what Price Picks releases it at so I can jump on it. But you can see he's got 27, 26, 20, 18, 18, and 21. So he's been over this in six of the last seven games, only missing against Chicago. So Mikael Bridges points is one that I like. Um, so what I'm looking at for my early card, I'm going to throw this discount in, whatever it was, for the fantasy score. It's only open till about noon. But I'm going to definitely do a Kevin Durant points being at home without Kyrie. And then I'm looking at probably either Drummond or Bruce Brown or both. And then I'm probably going to look either LeBron, Mikael Bridges, and the Jalen Green assist. I think those are 
key ones to take a look at today, but I have a lot of people ask me how I come up with these plays and props and all that good stuff. As always, we go to the cheat sheet, last seven tab, point, sort of high to low, start digging into these guys, looking at game logs until you come up with five winners. So that's what I got for today, guys. Um, should get some more content out here. I'm feeling better. I am really ready for fantasy baseball. Had my first draft this last week, so hopefully we'll get in the swing and get that kicked off and have a good day.